Hey second grade, welcome to the library. Thanks so much for joining me today. As always, please remember to be respectful, raise your hand if you have a question or comment, and stay in the spot that you've chosen during our read aloud. Thanks so much. All right, let's get started. So since you are learning about different types of ecosystems and environments in class, I have chosen a book for us to read that highlights one of those environments, and it is my favorite one. So today, we are going to read Over and Under the Canyon. It was written by Kate Messner and illustrated by Christopher Silas Neal. Has anybody ever visited a canyon? Yes. Have you ever gone hiking in a canyon? Awesome. We took a big trip last summer, my family and I, and we got to visit quite a few different national parks and we did go hiking in some canyons and it was beautiful. All right, let's start reading our book. High above, Swainson's hawks soar, circling in the morning blue sky. Stones crunch under my boots, and stink beetles skitter away. Have you ever seen a stink beetle? Tiny tracks lead to a crack in the rocks where a kangaroo rat rests in the shade. Our trail heads into the canyon. Can you see the tiny tracks from the kangaroo rat? What's down there? I ask. Down in the canyon, Mom says. What do you think they might discover in the canyon? Down in the canyon is a whole world of its own where animals find shelter from the desert sun. We'll feel cooler there too. Why do you think it might be cooler down in the canyon? More shade. Down to the canyon we climb, step by careful step. On the hillside above, a bighorn sheep bounds from rock to rock, showing us how it's done. We hike between walls that stretch to the sun. Over the canyon, a kestrel glides through a sliver of sky. What do you think a kestrel might be? Maybe a bird? We scramble over rocks and squeeze between boulders. I have to turn sideways to fit. Does anybody know what you call this type of canyon when the walls are very close? The two sides? A slot canyon. Along the wall, a gecko scoots low to hide under a ledge. Down in the sand, a tarantula creeps, folding long hairy legs into a crevice of her own. Over the canyon, a young golden eagle spreads her wings, hunting for breakfast below. She swoops and whoosh. Brown fur and big ears blur past. A jackrabbit takes cover in the rocks. The eagle will go hungry for now. The jackrabbit has escaped. I'm hungry too, so it's time for a snack. When the walls spread out, we climb up to a cool shady spot. Not there, Mom says. That rock's taken. What's taken that rock? It is by a red diamond rattlesnake whose scales glisten and gleam. A roadrunner steps close. The snake lifts its tail. A rattly hum fills the air. Shh, Mom whispers. Watch. The roadrunner takes one long-legged step, then another. I hold my breath and wait for the snake to strike. Then, snap! The roadrunner catches its head in her beak. She devours her rattlesnake lunch while we munch on raisins and nuts. Is that what you thought would happen? Over the sand we walk, our footprints follow, one set big and one small. 
We're not alone, Mom points. A horned lizard has been here too, with four feet and a squiddle of tail. Can you see the horned lizard's footprints? On through the sweltering midday, we hike up and down ridges, hot from the sun. A mule deer leaps up and gallops away. We've interrupted his nap. When will we be there? I ask as we climb a new hill. I'm melting under the sun. Right now, an explosion of wildflowers, brittle bush, desert lilies, poppies, and monkey flowers blossoming out of the sand. What a beautiful landscape. Did you know that there can be so many beautiful flowers that grow in the desert? Maybe they've adapted to having less water. We wander through the valley and I dance between blooms from yellow to purple to orange. An antelope squirrel seems to celebrate too, darting from bush to bush. Before we head back, I take a long drink. I'm ready for rest and some shade. Down in the sand, harvester ants hide in their home, a cool escape from the sun. My stomach grumbles as we hike back to camp. I'm not the only one. A desert kit fox wakes to hunt and cottontails graze in a clearing as sunset paints the sky. Why do you think so many of the animals and insects go underground in this environment? Uh, maybe to have a break from the sun and the heat because it's warmer and it's cooler underground. Back at camp, dad's heating up supper and our tent looks cozy and cool. Over the sand, a cactus wren hops through the brush, searching for insects to feed her chicks. Under the sand, burrowing owls wake to hunt mice. So as the sun is setting, the owls are waking up. That means they are what? Nocturnal. When the sun fades away, we dig into supper. Coyotes yip and howl as the twilight turns to night. What a beautiful illustration of the sunset. Watch this. Mom whispers. She points her special flashlight under a creosote bush and a hairy scorpion glows green in the dark. What a cool flashlight. Bobcats prowl the shadows and great horned owls call through the sky. Ooh, 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 ooh. Their day is just beginning as hours comes to an end. I crawl into our tent and close my eyes and the canyon winds sing me to sleep. A desert night lullaby of moonlight and shadows, insect song and stars, and the hidden world nestled away in the canyon. The end. Now this book is very cool because it also has um, very detailed descriptions of the different plants and animals and insects that you might find in the desert and that were in this book. So you can learn a little bit more about each of them, which is very interesting. Now, did you notice that some of the animals live below the ground? Some live on the ground, some live in the air. So what are the differences between those animals and why do they live in different areas? Yeah. And which one was your favorite? I can take a few responses. Awesome. So is this an area that you would like to visit? Me too. It reminds me of a few of the places that we got to go last summer. Thank you all so much for joining me today. And please remember that if you enjoyed this book, you can check it out from our library and we have others like it. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.